Hi, in this clip we would like to talk about Poisson random variables. The first one will be mostly uh, to motivate, uh, the first part of the clip is to motivate this uh, type of random variables. So let's look at the first example. Um, so in one rainy day you observe that on average you hear three lightnings per 10 minutes. Okay. So we'd like to, uh, can we uh, model the number of lightnings with uh, anything with related to probability theory okay so in this situation you might think that it's, it is kind of useless to model the number of lightnings you hear so let's look at another example okay so um, you you have a restaurant okay and you have you observe that on average uh, you have 10 customer per hour okay so I would like to know that this this number of customer may depends on the time of the day. So uh, let's assume that we only look at the customer from uh, 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. And on, let's look at that, uh, assume that we look at that every day. Okay. So how can we model this number of customer coming to the restaurant with uh, probability theory? Okay. And, and you may wonder why, why, why do we want to model this and what exactly is a model? Okay, so a model is like, is, uh, recall that when we talk about probability uh, theory in the beginning, we assume that there's some random process, right? Random process that produce some outcome. And from this outcome, we want to compute something related to it, right? So this, the, the, the reason, uh, the way we, we, when we say we want to model something with probability theory, we would like to, uh, you know, uh, introduce some random process that for, for which, uh, uh, whose outcomes, uh, somewhat is, are, are somewhat related to this, uh, real experiment, real random, or uh, random phenomena. Okay. Um, so why do we want to model these numbers? Okay, uh, one thing is that if we have the model that produce some outcome, we might be able to analyze various property related to it. Okay, and in in other case, we might not be able to analyze uh, analyze these uh, random variables, but we want to investigate uh, various possibility by simulations. Let's let's think about our uh, restaurant example. Okay, suppose you know that uh, on average uh, we have ten customer per hour. Okay, and you would like okay. So these are ten people coming to your restaurant. Okay, and you want want to say um, okay. So uh, let's introduce some new menu. Okay, and this new menu require quite some time to cook. Okay. And and you wanna you wonder uh, do you still are you know are you still able to serve uh, ten customer in one hour? Okay, you can just try it and see uh, maybe in the end you lost some some value customers, but you you might be able to say uh, you wanna run a simulations. Okay, but when you wanna run the simulations, you wanna say that uh, your simulation is close to the real thing. Okay. It's not that you're going to say, okay, in, in my simulation, so this is the time axis, you're going to have uh, 10 customers coming to your restaurant at, uh, say, uh, in, in 12 o'clock. You have 10 customers coming to your restaurant. And at 1, at 1 o'clock, another 10 customers coming to the restaurant. At 2 o'clock, another 10 customers coming to the restaurant. It might be that uh, the average is 10, but on maybe you have in some hour you have 15 in some hour you have nine so you would like to uh, to make sure that this number somehow is close to the real thing it's close to the number of customer coming to your restaurant so that your simulations somehow reflects the real uh, possibilities okay all right so um, so we we'll see this soon when we uh, perform some experiment in in class all right okay so um these two examples share a common character okay so 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 the the common character is that uh these two experiments or these two phenomena 
you count the number of times some particular event occurs. Okay, so our if you look at the thunder, uh, the, the lightning uh, example, so we have a range of ten minutes, and we count uh, how many uh, lightnings that uh, you you've heard. Okay, so that three lightnings, for example. So we would like to model this number of lightnings. Okay, using some 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 probability theory, you can just say the easiest way. Easiest is to say that okay, you are, you have a random variable x such that x is three. Okay, so this is a random variable which is not quite random, but uh, the average expected value of x is three always, and this you might want to use this as the model for this number of uh, lightnings, but it might not look that random. Okay. So you have some a, a little bit more complicated. So you can have a random variable, say a better one, y, such that okay, y is gonna be uh, six or zero, okay, with probability uh, one half and zero with uh, respect to probability one half. Okay, in this case. Uh, what the the expected value of y is the uh, expected value of y is again three, but it's 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 y. So if you look at uh, the PMF of y, so you're gonna see that a half of them will be here and another half will be here. Is zero. This is six. So the average will be three. But is this good enough to model the number of uh, this kind of uh, uh, events? Okay, so. When, when we want to talk about the uh, modeling of an event, we want to be able to say, oh, this, this uh, random process that I introduced. So the first one is not random. The second one is like you flip a coin and with half probab uh, prob probability half, you get six. With probability half, you get uh, zero. And th this is somewhat related to the real um, physical phenomena of, you know, Customer coming to restaurant, okay. But if it's not that close, so we might uh, we might not be able to say uh, this model is uh, you know this random variable is close to the real model, okay. Um, so uh, I would like to leave this uh, first clip to for so that so that you might be able to think about how to uh, model this kind of thing and and you know. Um, look at, at uh, the previous two examples, simple examples. Maybe you want to come up with some other modeling choices. And in the next clip, we'll see uh, what actually people use to uh, model this kind of thing. Okay, see you in the next clip.